Kano asserted that the president has failed by shifting responsibility to the state governors. This followed his reaction to President Muhammadu Buhari's interview with Arise TV on Thursday, in which he said each of the 36 state governors should find a way to end the rampart inversion of headsmen across the country. According to Buhari, he alone cannot do everything, which was, you know, why he called on governors to find ways to solve the problems of insecurity in their respective days. But Kano asserted that the president has failed by shifting responsibilities to the state governors. He further stated that the decision of the federal government is confirmed the controversial Eastern Security Network, ESN, as an agency established for the self-defense of the people of the Southeast. As the mask masquerading as Ino Buhari shift responsibility of stopping terrorist headsmen to governors, it confirms our assertion that Nigeria has become a failed state. It also validates ESN as a self-defense force to protect our people, he said. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to what has been said? We have heard earlier in the news that some you know, governors came to President Muhammad Buhari and discussed some things with him. And, you know, what he did was, you know, sent them back and told them to do what is right. According to what was said, he said, you know, these people are also, you know, government officials that has been elected by the people. You know, they campaigned to be elected and these people elected them. So they should go back to their respective states and profile solution to the, you know, security challenges they have there and Kano now has asserted that the president has failed by shifting responsibility to the state governors it is obvious that everybody in nigeria knows that this country is a failed country buhari led administration is a failed you know administration what is your thought about this what do you think can be done in this kind of situation according to what buhari said he alone cannot do everything which was why he called on governors to find ways to solve the problems of insecurity in their respective day. What is your thought about this? We would like you to drop your thoughts and comment on what has been said. But before we go, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation on what the, gov uh, no, the president has said to the governors. Emanuela Ibikake reacted to this and said, We all know Nigeria is a failed state. All hands must be on decks to end this. What is your thought about this? We all know that Nigeria is a failed state. Looking at the present atrocities that is happening, looking at the you know challenges we have in Nigeria, looking at the level of poverty and level of unemployment you know we have in Nigeria, it has you know shows that Nigeria is a failed state. So many things are happening in Nigeria. People are being kidnapped. Innocent people are being killed. The police doesn't investigate thoroughly on issues before they take you know actions. So. All hands must be on decks to end this. That is what Emanuela has said. What is your thought about this? Well, let's move forward and see what other people's reactions is on this. Theophilos Shegun also reacted to this and said, Tribalism is killing our nation. Despite how the president is, they are still supporting him and his tribe. As for Kano, he should come back home to his people so that they will be able to organize themselves. What is your thought about what Theophilos Shegun have said? He said, tribalism is killing our nation despite how the president is. You know, people are still supporting him and his tribe. And he said, as for Kano, he should come back home, you know, to his people so that they will have much time and be able to reorganize themselves and prepare for any you know, form of attack from any person. What is your thought about this? What is your reaction to what has been said? It is obvious that everybody in Nigeria knows that Nigeria is a first state and we don't even know the right way to go about it. We have series of attacks happening day by day. People are being kidnapped. Employment has become, you know, something of scarcity in Nigeria. You know, our youth are completing school and there's no, you know, there's no job opportunity for them. This has led, you know, them into terrorizing activities. They have been terrorizing this country because of lack of employment. Our youth, you know, they are idle. They cannot, you know, secure a good job to earn a living. That has increased you know, the level of poverty in Nigeria. That has increased the level of unemployment in Nigeria. And it has also you know, increased the level of bandits we have in Nigeria. The leadership of Nigeria is so poor to the extent that you have you know, leaders having meetings every day. They come to the table 
and discuss and discuss and discuss and yet there is no positive result on what they have been saying they promised us that they are you know in this meeting they will discuss on how to cope the you know insecurity challenges in nigeria they will be able to you know discuss on how to eradicate you know boko haram terrorists in nigeria but all these meetings are to no avail there have been series of meetings pieces of meetings have been held yet there's no positive result instead of you know getting a positive result to what is happening presently it becomes even tougher and tougher what is your thought about this what do you think can be done in this kind of situation you have in nigeria and we have heard that some you know governors have come to the president you know they've come to him to meet with him and discuss some issues with him on how to cope this you know security challenges we have in nigeria and about the full headsmen that are terrorizing our farmers and this unknown gunmen you know that have been terrorizing the whole country and the president you know did nothing but to send them back to where they you know they were coming from that they were also elected as he was elected somebody cannot just you know win election and sit tight and be expecting you know the president to do everything for him or her everybody should go back you know to their you know various states and tackle their challenges by themselves because these people were also elected they should think fast and know how to prefer a lasting solution to the responsibilities you know because that's the responsibility they have been given because they campaigned to be voted for and these people were you know voted for and they were elected so they need to do what is expected of them what is your thought about this and nabdi kanu has asserted that the president has failed by shifting responsibility to the state governors he said what he has done is a failure and that is why nigeria has been a failed country because even the leaders in it you know they are failed and whenever you have a failed leader there's no how the country will not also fail what is your thought about this things are really happening in nigeria we tag ipop you know as the unknown you know bandits in nigeria whereas we don't even know if these people are truly you know if they are really innocent about this our nigerian you know governments don't even you know investigate issues before they conclude they just kill anybody they kill innocent souls this has prompt so many nigerians you know to have reacted to so many things happening in nigeria and this has given some people the mind of political apathy people don't want to participate in political activities because of the way this you know politics is being run in nigeria what do you think can be done in this kind of situation what is your thought about this after Nandi Kanu has asserted that the president has failed by shifting responsibility to the state governors, he furthermore to say that the decision of the federal government has confirmed the controversial Eastern Security Network as an agency established for the self-defense of the people of the Southeast as the mass, you know, masquerading as Buhari shift responsibility of stopping terrorist headsmen to the, you know, to governors. It confirms our assertion that Nigeria has become, you know, a failed state. It also validates ESN as a self-defense for, you know, force to protect our people. That is what Enabdi Kano have said. What is your thought about this? I'd like you to drop your thoughts and comment on what has been said through the comment section. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.